On this episode of Drive Modified, we're going to be making the bonnet fit properly and install some aero catches. So on the last episode of Drive Modified, you may remember we fitted an inlet, some cams and an exhaust. If you haven't seen that episode, go to the channel and rewatch it. It's the only other episode that's there uh, because you might enjoy it. And if you want to see more videos going forward, uh, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified whenever we upload. But yeah, this week, um, because we fitted the inlet last week, nothing fits anymore. So the bonnet doesn't quite close and it doesn't latch anymore because we had to delete the latch mechanism. So we're going to be fitting some aero catches or bonnet pins most commonly used on racing cars, which this is not, um, just as an easy way to detach and remove panels quickly without having to go in the cabin and pull the release. So uh, we'll get it in the garage and we'll, we'll get fitting them. There are a number of different types of panel fixings. In our case, we're gonna be using aero catches just because it works nicely on a road car. We're going to be removing the bonnet, so it's going to need to mark with a marker pen where the bonnet sits on the mounting point so it can go back in the same way. Because of the new inlet manifold we fitted, the bonnet doesn't quite close properly, so we're going to have to cut away some of the innermost skin of the bonnet so that it closes flush. Now the initial shape is cut, we can go around with a die grinder or a Dremel to remove any sharp edges. Because we're going to be cutting holes in the bonnet, it's a good idea to cover up the engine bay with some sort of dust sheet. I used a tiny dab of copper slip on the bonnet pins to mark on the underside of the bonnet where to drill. If you had immaculate paintwork, now would be the time to mask up the bonnet so you can draw around the latches onto masking tape. In our case, we're just going to draw straight onto the bonnet because the paintwork's not very good. I initially started with an angle grinder to get the basic shape that I wanted. Then, once the basic shape was complete, went in with the Dremel to get the trickier corners. Once you're happy with the positioning of the latch, you can go ahead and drill the pilot holes to secure the latch in place. To ensure the latches are symmetrical from left to right, you can make a cardboard template for the side you've already done that can then be reversed for the other side, drawn round so you can cut exactly the right shape. As with the other side, start with an angle grinder to get the rough shape and then go in with a Dremel to neaten up any edges and remove any tricky corners. On a double skin bonnet, the position of the latch mounting hardware can be a little bit tricky to get absolutely bang on. In my case, I got it roughly where I wanted it and then use some hot glue to secure it in place while I then mounted up the latch. So that was a very rough guide as to how to fit sort of 
bonnet latches. I slightly messed up the, the left hand side one because I've made the hole slightly bigger than I should have, but no biggie. I mean, it's still got all of the all of the bolts holding the latch in and the, the pin works nicely, so it operates nice in it and crucially holds the bonnet shut, which is obviously what you want it to do. Um, for the next episode, I'm going to kind of put it up to you guys. I took it for a quick test drive off camera and the brakes are absolutely shocking, like really, really bad. Um, so that's going to be in the next video but if you guys have any uh, suggestions for for future episodes that you want to see what whatever comment gets the most upvotes we'll just do a video on that um I'll, I'll yeah totally leave that one up to you guys but um yeah as always leave a like if you liked it leave a dislike if you didn't um comment and crucially subscribe so the last video was quite popular but i got hardly any subscribers from it so um if you like the sort of videos we're making and the style that we're doing them in hit the subscribe button so you um yeah don't miss out on anything uh, that we do in future all right see you later <laughs> god damn it